Hey, what's up, you guys? Nukasvinsky here. Welcome back to Forza More Sports 7. I haven't made a video on this game in, like, what, a year or two? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, as you can tell from the title of this video or whatever, we're going to be trying to compete against my Camaro. Now, for all of those who don't know, which is probably all of you, I somehow made a Camaro that was pretty quick. I'm sure everybody else has done better than it, but... I tuned it myself, and I'm not a very good tuner, so let me get to the car real quick. And the car is this 2002 Camaro. Now, I'm surprised at how fast it was. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out the tuning. Again, I'm not a good tuner at all. I don't even know how I was able to do it. But as you can see, 1.7 seconds. For me... That's a lot, and I, as, as you can tell, I am not good at tuning. None of this I really tuned besides the arrow. So yeah, none of that I really tuned, but the cars we're going to be using today are the Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, of course. The 1970 Dodge Challenger, because why not? 1970 Dodge Super Beam. And, I can't remember what year it is, but it's a Vauxhall Monero, which looks like the Pontiac GTO. So, yeah, we're going to try all those cars. They might be engine swapped. The uh, engine in this car, I believe, is a 4.6.2 liter V8, I believe, actually. Not 4.2, I don't know why I was thinking that. But, yeah, it is a 6.2 liter V8, if I'm correct. And this is why I did to... The visual customizations are obviously why I did. And the paint I just found because it looks awesome matches the car very well and the rims are actually pretty decent on it and somehow the uh the wing was able to match the car after i got this livery for it especially with all its upgrades it has so yeah let's go ahead and get into it starting off with the ford crown victoria oh and i forgot our main goal is to beat it is to be 1.7 seconds of 0 to 60 time Let's try to beat it. Alrighty, after a long time of finding out which cars might be great, I had to count out the uh, Monaro because I found that, this car, that that car isn't even in the game. So, uh, yeah. A little bit of a letdown, but yeah. Let's go ahead and start off with the Camaro I've been talking about. It's quick. Obviously, you ain't going to compete in a lot of competitions against like other cars and whatnot that you see nowadays. Oh, I forgot that that was even in the game, to be honest. Completely forgot that was even in the game. There we go, 8.5 seconds. <laughs> it's quite a bit. It's pretty quick. Eight point five five nine, I believe. We're gonna go ahead and race again, see if we could get a better reaction time. Eight point four four two. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. All right, let's roll out the Crown Vic. I doubt that car is gonna beat this thing because Crown Vic's heavy, even when you have weight reduction on it. It's heavy as fuck, but it is what it is. All right, we got the Crown Vic all set up. I know for sure it ain't going to be as fast, but our time to be is an 8.442. So, I'll be happy if this Vic can beat it. I added, I also forgot to mention I added a uh, another car. It's the 2000 Mustang. 
That was a better reaction time, I think. Might be shorter, I'm not sure. Nine point two four three. Almost a second slower than the Camaro. It ain't too bad, but still slower. On to the Super B. I went for one more test run on accident because I wanted to try to change vehicles and I decided to just go again. While it is way slower, it did get a little bit of a faster time. 9.193. Pretty impressive for a Crown Vic, even though it is engine swapped, as all of these drag cars are. All right, here we are with the Super B. This, this thing's quick. Definitely faster than the Vic. Ooh. That was a close one, though. Let's go for one more test run. Oh my goodness. It still didn't beat the time, but holy cow, it was close. <laughs> that is awesome. This car was definitely competing for it. On to the next car, which is the Dodge Challenger, the 1970 Challenger, which actually surprisingly used to be my favorite car back then. Alright, we have the 1970 Dodge Challenger with the roadkill livery on it. And yes, I know that these cars might look awful with the upgrades that they have. They're the best I can do. I had to make it look like a drag car, plus... A couple of those upgrades do uh, lighten the, the car. This car isn't going to be as fast, though. 8.9, okay. <laughs> a little bit faster than I was expecting, actually. Let's give it another run. Oh dear, I think I think that was awful. Yeah, that was worse, but we had our two runs. We got an 8.9 with that thing. With this thing. The Challenger. Or the uh, Super B still remains in first place. Well, I say first place. I'm talking about like with the rest of these cars besides the Camaro. The Camaro is going to stay on top for right now from what I can tell. Up next is the 2000 Mustang. The SVT. Here we are with the Mustang. Holy cow, this thing is quick. Woohoo! <laughs> 8.709. That's quick. Let's go for one more run. Come on, Mustang. Almost the same time, just a little bit slower. No, so where in the world did that car even come from? Pretty sure that car kept getting last the last few times. But so far, none of these cars were able to win. The Camaro stays on top, while the other cars stay behind it. And with that being said, hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.
me fucking crazy I'm a little ticked off today A little pissed off today